Hello, a very good evening to all of you. Today we are going to discuss the question which was reported on 11th of August 2022 for the real IELTS examination. The question says like that, some people believe arts such as painting and music can now directly improve the quality of people's lives so that government's money should be spent on other things. To what extent do you agree or disagree? So this is the question. So instead of spending money on uh, arts such as painting and music, some people argue that it should be spent on uh, uh, other things which can improve the standards of living of, pe of its people. So to what extent do you agree with this statement? Now let's go with the, the response here. So this is the response, the introduction. Here we do have two parts. The first part is the topic presentation, which I can highlight in the pink. So this is the topic presentation. So it said that governments should spend money on more relevant sectors rather than on art such as music and painting to improve the quality of their citizens this is an argument so it said that it is argued that i think this view has a greater relevance in the competitive world which is more le leaning towards the science and technology so what uh, the argument is has a greater relevance at this point. Now, this is because we are leaning towards the science and technology. So my justification is clear. So I'm telling other things which governments need to focus. I'm giving the clear picture. So government should focus on science and technology rather than focusing on arts. So spending money on science and technology becomes more logical than spending money on arts to improve the quality of the citizens of the country. So this is what my viewpoint is. So you can frame your own essay with your own opinion. So some, sometimes you might say that this is not correct. So you have a different opinion. You can go ahead with that. The only thing is that you have to prove it in the paragraphs. The cardinal reason why I support the view is because of the art sector is losing its significance when compared to the past. This is the thing here. Now, this is the first point. Uh, the main reason why I support the view, it's because the, it, the losing significance of arts uh, when compared to the present so what was the situation in the present in the past now uh, to be precise musicians and painters were given dignity and most of them hardly faced any financial crisis all through their life okay t-h-e-i-r okay all through their life even a couple of centuries ago ah uh, yeah a, a couple of centuries ago, you know that uh, you know that you might have heard many uh, stories about uh, musicians and painters. Uh, they were rewarded by the the clergy, by the by the kings and the emperors, and they were given a significant positions in the society as well as in the country you know that they they had hardly faced any financial crisis they enjoyed the privileges the economic status the social status all the privileges they enjoyed in the past but with the technological revolution so in the post-industrialized era we had some technological revolution and this technological revolution has paved the way to the emergence of science and technology and as a result 
this these fields such as arts arts fields such as music and painting has lost its grips and artists started facing financial crisis now that in the current situation you have uh, uh, very few writers very few painters uh, uh, those who go with these types of uh, arts, uh, those who take up this uh, as a profession, the number is declining when compared to the past. You can see uh, uh, the subjects which are taken in universities related to these professions or areas are very few in number. Now, this is what we have seen in the first particular paragraph. Now let's go ahead with the second paragraph. On the other hand, so what having said this is the situation regarding arts. The importance of science and technology in daily life of the people has steadily increased. And those who took up their career from these areas prospered both socially and economically. So meantime, while the, the significance of arts declined what happened there was a simultaneous increase of importance of the science and technology and those who took up their profession they uh, they made their status the social status and economic status improved to be clearer advancement in science and technology opened tremendous opportunities to people while the scope of music and painting remained the same so we have a stagnant situation we had a stagnant situation so we didn't have the curve didn't go up for music painting and related arts at the same time science and technology had the importance has steadily increased and it has opened tremendous opportunities for people who took it as a profession. For instance, the fields of engineering and medicine uplifted the quality of people of, of quality of life of many. So we have uh, prof professionals from engineering, medicine, so the quality of their life, so their social status, their economic status, everything improved. So it becomes justifiable for governments to focus its financial attention towards such prospering fields rather than on uh, arts, which uh, is losing its scope. Now we do have the third particular paragraph here. Okay. I admit that a significant proportion of people who are still enjoying superior standards of living in field of arts. So we have a, a sizable proportion of people from these areas. They, they enjoy superior standards of life. For example, there are celebrities from music who earn 100 times more than or 1,000 times more than eminent scientists an eminent scientist or an architect so uh, an eminent architect or architect or an eminent engineer or an eminent doctor or an eminent scientist earn very less when compared to a celebrity from music a music celebrity you have a lot of examples i'm not mentioning them so this is a reality for example this is the thing now we have said that However, this applies to a minority of the current global population. So this is not the case in many, in most cases, this is not a reality. Uh, it applies to a, a smaller proportion of the global population. Uh, this is what we have seen here. Now we have the third paragraph said, and we need to conclude this thing. So let's go with the conclusion. Though there are some situations when art such as music and painting can offer a better quality of life, it is an undeniable fact that it's losing its significance among the people. Hence, it becomes logical to government to shift the attention from arts to areas which offers its sense better opportunity. So it's very clear the conclusion, even though it's bigger, we have said two sentences. Mm, I, I I don't um, entertain my students to uh, have write lengthy conclusions. Uh, we should not have uh, explanation in the conclusion. We need to trim the conclusion. Uh, we can edit it later. But 
<laughs> the thing is that I need to make you understand that this is a situation, it becomes logical for the governments to fund uh, other professions or other areas rather than on arts, because uh, uh, that becomes more logical. Then. Okay, so that is the end of the explanation of the question which appeared <coughs> on 11th August 2022. Have a nice day. Thank you.